All right, well. Huh. This looks familiar. Have I been here before? Is this deja vu? Uh, whatever. Nice layout. What's this? Oh yeah, check this out. Gorgeous R8. You are an orange beast. W wait, hold on, this is even better. R8 spider? Drop top? Gorgeous interior. Oh yeah. Magnificent exterior. And I love this carbon fiber. Yeah! I am in Audi heaven! <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, wait, hold on. Hold a second here. What's, what is this? Huh. Wait, let me try this out. Is this me? Is this me? Oh, yeah, yeah. A little easy rider action. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> uh, no, 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 not at all. But this, now we're talking. Yeah, I can deal with this. This is not... Um... Uh, never mind. Forget it. Hey, that's a good-looking scarf. I wonder if it fits. Oh, yeah, it does. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? I can't do that. Alrighty. Wow! <laughs> oh, jeez. Where'd that come from? All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. Hold everything. Is this what I think it is? This is the brand new 2019 Audi Q8. I've been waiting for this. Well, let's see what's up front. Yep, Audi's signature single frame grille. Quattro all wheel drive with a 40 front, 60 rear bias. Nicely styled vehicle on the exterior. But I need some keys, I gotta check out the inside. I wonder if they'd mind if I borrowed these. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this works. Yeah, of course you have the keyless entry or I could just push this button. And here we are on the inside. Oh, nice Audi puddle light. Beautiful wood inlay. Very nice. I'd expect nothing less. Let's check it out. Of course, virtual cockpit, 12.3 inch, dead center, fingertip control with your navigation and Google Earth. And of course, you have your center screens, top and bottom, beautiful ZF 8-speed automatic Tiptronic transmission. Oh, yeah, let's just play with this a little bit here. Adjust the temperature. And let's see what's under the hood. 3 liter V6 with a mild hybrid 48 volt system, 335 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque. Yes, thank you. And these gorgeous LED headlights with the available animation. Nice. Sloping roof line. You've got your roof rails up top, integrated rear spoiler, LED brake lights. Let's check out the back seats. Oh yeah, another nice puddle light. And ample room for three adults. Gliding and reclining rear seats. 
Nice flexibility there. Quad zone air conditioning with, again, haptic touch controls. USB attachments. Bang & Olufsen stereo system. Gorgeous moonroof. And you even have privacy shades. <laughs> All right. Well, let's check out the cargo area. You have available hands-free opening for the rear, or you could just touch a button, use your key fob, get in the back, look at 30.5 cubic feet of cargo space, available privacy cover, and in the back you've got 40-20-40 split folding rear seats, and 60.7 cubic feet of cargo space, yeah. You have emergency spare tire, integrated subwoofer for your Bang & Olufsen system. Bam! Love that light bar in the back. And towing capacity, properly equipped, 7,700 pounds. And your fake exhaust outlets, but they are down there. Of course, you've got your ZF 8-speed Tiptronic transmission, and in park, all you have to do is push this button on what I call the uh, putter grip there, and then push the side button to put it in drive, take off your electronic parking brake, and you're good to go. sit up nice and high and with the adjustable air suspension you can actually raise and lower the height by up to three and a half inches and that would accommodate a 10 inch ground clearance and that's great in case you ever go through you know some snowy conditions off-road conditions what have you you can adjust it and you can even lower the rear cargo area a couple inches so that you can have a little ease of access for loading and unloading cargo which comes in really handy of course, your regular uh, automatic dampening of the suspension system gives you very controlled ride. And of course, you have your drive select mode, which you have either on your haptic touchscreen or you have it down below there. And you can choose from off-road, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. And that's always nice to uh, play with. I am going to put it into comfort because we're going through the city and I want to be comfortable in the city. There we go. And we're just doing some back roading here because it makes it a little bit easier to talk. A little bit more intimate environment, if you know what I mean. And speaking of a luxurious environment, the Audis are known for their exquisite interiors, and this is no different. Everything is just clean and simple as it just flows across your dash with this beautiful black gloss finish, and it's highlighted with the Quattro accent. Plus, you have your two screens, as you can see, you have your 10.1 inch screen up top and your 8.6 inch screen for your uh, heated or ventilated seats, your air conditioning controls, things of that nature. And you have the available quad air conditioning so that you have individual controls in the back as well. Of course, you have your 12 volt power source, which is dead center here between your cup holders. And you have another one in the back, plus your USB connectivity, your center armrest, which is adjustable. You can raise or lower it, but you can put your cell phone in there. The 12.3 inch virtual cockpit is just one of the best, especially with your Google Earth views. And of course you have your Wi-Fi hotspot, but you can control the view, the setting. You can either get a larger view with the speedometer and tachometer and a smaller view of the Navi, or you could just go straight to Navi. It's just whatever you feel like. By the way, you do have all of the uh, usual fun technology. I have blind spot detection. And what's nice with the Audis is you have a very bright light off on your side mirror so that uh, it gives you a very clear visible warning as far as that is. You have your sensors all the way around. There's so many sensors on this vehicle. You have your front and rear parking. You have your cross traffic available. You have your lane change assist. You have your uh, uh, pre-collision mitigation if necessary. You have all sorts of ways to adapt your cruise as it were. 
You have a beautiful ambient interior lighting that you can adjust with, I'm told, up to 30 different colors to suit your needs. And there's even uh, the uh, animation for the LED headlights, which is really kind of, I don't know, I'm not impressed that much, but I guess some people like it. A little flicker of the lights and boom, bam. But I love the Matrix LED headlights. Those are incredibly bright. Let's see, the brakes work. You have ABS braking system, electronic brake force distribution, all of the usual good stuff. You also, <laughs> see, pre-collision mitigation. Leather, double-stitched across the front, and of course your steering wheel, nice and controlled. The uh, wood on the interior, I've said it before, I'll say it again, they have some of the finest wood inlays in this. It's just wonderful. I'm psyched, I like it, I like it, I like it. I like buttons, I'm on my home button. I got vehicle settings here, lighting and visibility, interior lighting. Here it is, you got solar color for your ambient, you have impulse, you have vision, whatever that color is, Caribbean, and you got all this sort of stuff that at your fingertips. Unbelievable stereo systems too, I have to tell you. And Audi provides a choice of three. You have your standard Audi system with 10 speakers, 180 watts of power. You can step up to the Bang & Olufsen 3D Premium Surround, which is amazing. That's 17 speakers, 730 watts of power. Or you go up to the top of the line Bang & Olufsen, and that's 23 speakers, 1920 watts of awesomeness. <laughs> this car can get up and go, by the way. I just thought you'd like to know. A lot of people were wondering about the six cylinder and will it have enough juice and I think it does especially since when you look at a lot of the manufacturers that are putting fours into their vehicles that the four cylinder has to work harder even if it's turbocharged supercharged it has to work harder than a six typically and that means down the road with wear and tear you know if you're car hauling cargo and people that you're going to probably need a little bit more maintenance on that four than a six so i think a six is a good way to go especially for a vehicle size this way that's my opinion while we're at the stoplight i have to tell you that this has the auto start stop function so it'll get you a little extra fuel efficiency and it's one of the smoothest operating. Normally, I'm not really a fan of those, but this one is very comfortable to use. I, I wouldn't mind having it on all the time to save a little bit of gas. I mean, you're looking at 17 miles per gallon around town, 22 thereabouts on the highway for a combined of around 19. So anything that'll help you get a little extra, you know, mile per gallon, then that's a good thing. That's why I think they put the uh, electric motor in there so that you have that 48 volt uh, power pack that'll start you off a little bit with just electricity and then if you're cruising slowly like we are sometimes that's all it's you're using but it's all self-regenerating so it's just one of those things that's at work and you don't even know it just like the auto start stop you don't even know it seats are extremely comfortable as always you have an eight-way standard power seat plus you also have an available 12-way seat and for the top of the line prestige you have the 18-way which is great one of the things I noticed in the back was that it looks like there's cigarette ashtrays back there. And I don't know if they're really thinking people are still smoking in a beautiful car like this or what. I mean, if my kid lit up, you know, two, three-year-old kids start smoking cigarettes, I'd say, hey, don't you get those ashes in my car. <laughs> no way. The interior is really quiet. One of the things you have to be aware of is if you do have the ventilated seats that the fan for the seats is just a little loud sometimes that's when you just turn up your stereo and you don't have to worry about it your system is apple carplay and android auto compatible if you have those compatible phones along the way or maybe even your uh, compatible watch <laughs> i said it watch this time didn't i yeah now you do have your mmi multimedia interface and what's interesting is they've actually built that into this this lower screen here and that's really kind of cool when you want to give it uh, uh, directions you can just write right on the screen itself I would do that but we're driving right now so I don't want to be distracted and yes everyone talks about these beautiful screens the beautiful haptic screens and they feel great they look great but you do have to maintain them that is you do have to clean off the fingerprints once in a while just so you know small price to pay for this type of technology and the beauty of it Ugh, it's just crisp it's sweet oh your head-up display very bright easy to see very very convenient to use 
And let's try the horn. It's a horn. That's how you try them out. You just honk and then wave that way. Nobody gets upset with you honking at them. They think they know you. <laughs> they don't. Moonroof. Almost forgot. Big panoramic moonroof or sunroof, depending on who you talk to. I think uh, Audi calls it a sunroof. Go figure. Uh, you have three trim levels, the Premium, Premium Plus, and the Prestige. I don't want to get the numbers wrong, so the Premium is 67.4. The Premium Plus starts out at 71.4 and 76.550 for the Prestige. Relatively easy to maneuver. Tight turning radius. Oh, check it out. When you go in reverse, it's absolutely cool. You have all of the sensors, the 360 camera. It makes your job so much easier. Bam! Check the acceleration out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Except I can't go too fast too far. But I just want you to know there's plenty of power there if you need it. Plenty of power to get you where you want to go. It's basically as quick. Zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds. Huh? Not bad. I believe the Audi Q8 is a good choice because if you do the math and you think that maybe the Q5 is too small or the Q7 is too big, then just take those two numbers, add them together. That's a 7 and a 5, that's a 12. You take the 12, divide it by 3 because those are the choices of SUVs you now have. The 5, the uh, 7, and of course now the 8. And if you divide that by 3, that makes 4. And if you take 4 and multiply it by 2 because I told you to, that makes it an 8. So the Q8 makes perfect sense. The Q8 is a nice balancing act. That is, you're balancing the moderate size, seating for five, six cylinder engine with the latest and greatest technology and safety, as well as luxury in an extremely attractive exterior styling. And I think it's something that people will really appreciate. The new Q8. Check it out. It might just be the right SUV for you. All right, it's getting dark, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we've spent another day enjoying riding around in a magnificent vehicle. We're glad you stay tuned with us and uh, hope you find uh, the information worthwhile and tell your friends to subscribe. We'd appreciate it.